What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Crayon Rocket Podcast. So today we got some videos, some inspiration, some news, just like we always do. Y'all already know how we do it. So welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Sweet, also known as Tircio or T, for what most people know me by, right? So today we're going to be talking about a few different topics, right? We're going to talk about a few different topics first one that we're going to be talking about is the Among Us game. So you're probably thinking, why are we going to talk about Among Us? What's the whole purpose of talking about Among Us? Hmm. Good question. Good question. Why we're going to talk about it is because it kind of hit a little bit of headline news on KRQE. It was, um, let me see what the headline was. Popular app Brings up concerns over information. Brings up concerns over information. Okay. Okay. We're going to dive into the video. Then we're going to kind of dissect it a little bit. We're going to break it down just a tiny bit. You already know how we do. Okay. And let's go ahead and jump into this one. Um, let's see. Give me a quick second. Let me fix that tiny bit. Um, is that a little bit too big? Sorry, y'all. That. So we're gonna jump into it. Watch live and local news on a variety of networks. With YouTube apologize TV, for the ad, guys. I apologize for the ad. Let's jump into this one. A new game is starting to concern parents because of the information their kids are giving out online. News for Teens Madison Connor explains what parents are saying when they log in. A game full of crewmates and imposters, and you don't know who is who. I downloaded it, and then I saw, like, I kind of got the gist of how to play it. Among Us, an up-and-coming game for kids and adults, is causing the most vulnerable to lower their guards and give out their personal information. I feel like I'm the mom in the chat saying, don't put out your personal information. Something Tiffany Gonzalez saw firsthand. And then, all of a sudden, like, in the chat, I would see, like, people saying, will you be my friend? Add me on Snapchat. And then other people would ask them, well, how old are you? Twelve. Ten. Young kids, unaware of what they could be getting themselves into. Of uh, how simple little information uh, could potentially put them in, in higher risk. The game itself isn't a danger. It's what happens inside the chat. I didn't have to worry about things like this. I just knew not to talk to a stranger across the street or someone offering me candy. Once you give out even one piece of information, it can lead to a rabbit hole of information no stranger needs to know. So, you know, whether you're giving out like a Snapchat name, an Instagram name, uh, several of the other platforms, whatever's in that platform, you're allowing that other person to start to look into. And right now, everyone is restricted to a virtual social life making kids even more vulnerable. And there are ways to play safe by creating private games for people you already know and putting a sensor on the group chat. I feel blessed that I'm the one in the chat with, in there with them, but who else? Who else is in there? Or the next game that they play? Who are they gonna be playing with? Who are they gonna be adding on social media? Madison Connor, KRQE News 13. Yeah, we're So, Let's go ahead and talk about it. Giving out information on these video games. Giving out information on these video games. Okay, I understand. I do. To a certain extent, right? But, we should be teaching our kids that. Like, don't be giving out information. But, it's like, their mind says, like, man... Shoot, I ain't got no friends. Let me, I, I just want to try to, you know, I'm just trying to glow up, right? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to acquire more friendships. I'm trying to be more social. I'm trying to have a social life. I'm trying to just live life right now, like, right? It's like, I don't see nothing wrong in any of this. Why are y'all so, so adamant on just hating on me? Like, let me do my thing. I understand that. I do. But the thing is, there's a lot of weird people out there. 
And yeah, some of them are, I mean, there's going to be some just crazy people that are just playing video games that are just going to curse you out. They're going to say every word possible just because they can. And like, I understand it because I, I see it too when I play the game. So, bro, it even got to me where I was like, uh, bro, like, you want to fight? Like, you, you, you talking, you talking all this game, bro, and you probably just some little 10 year old on the other end of it, right? But, see, that's the thing, is I, I do like the aspect of being able to play those private matches with just people that have the code and your friends and stuff like that. That's good. But, I think it's really up to the parents. I don't even think it's, like, good to be like, nah, you can't play it because that's the new age of social interaction with other kids, especially right now with the pandemic. Right, these video games and being able to speak with each other and stuff, that's gonna be some type of that's gonna be a social life for a lot of kids. So I understand it. But it's like on the other end it's like you, you gotta check yourself, you gotta check your kids, you gotta make sure they ain't giving out this private information. I understand Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all these different social platforms, right? They're gonna be like, Hey man, add me up on Snap, add me up on IG you got Facebook, let go. Like, I understand that. But it sh we should not be doing it. We're like, we need, like, uh, like video games should be video game. Don't be trying to share up your Snapchat. But I understand there's going to be some teenagers that are going to be doing that as well. That's just the social climate of them, right? Um, if I was trying to get big and trying to, like, do all that, in a different context, I'll be like, yeah, add me up on uh, IG. Like, I have my my um, IG page for, like, my brand and everything like that. So, I'd be like, yeah, go hit up on my IG. But that's different. It's a whole different playing field. Because I'm doing it for business reasons. I'm doing it for community, things like that. But these are little kids that are just kind of putting it out there. They're like, yeah, add me up on IG. Let's do it. But it's not good. Right, it's not good, and I think we just need to be a little bit more um, into what our kids are doing, right? Um, have that talk with them. Be like, hey, don't snap, don't share your snap, don't be sharing this, don't be none of that. Like, nah, like let's not do that. Like, it's scary. You don't want to pull yourself out where a predator or somebody could just get up on there. Like, right. But if you're 10 or 12, I don't know if you should even be having that. Like, I think it depends. If they do have a Snapchat, it should be only their close friends and relatives. And parents be checking it on uh, constantly, all the time, right? But to be able to just start adding anybody you want, I, I don't, nah. Like, have your social bubble. Okay, that's fine. But doing the private matches, it's a little bit more safer for your kids. Maybe if you're a t 